Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the DT evangelists here at Digital Tutors. In this video, we're going to look at a question from one of our users, Tricky Biscuits, on how to resolve an issue where the snap function appears to be stuck on. So here I have a knife from the Introduction to Modeling in Maya course. And if we were to come into our Move tool here and move this guy, uh, we can see that it looks like we're snapping. Notice as I'm moving this, it's snapping into place. It's not giving us the fluid movements that we're used to. Now, when we have this sort of issue, the first place that we're going to want to look is the snapping tools themselves. So we'll find those in our status line up here at the top. We can see from left to right, we have our snap to grid, snap to curve, snap to point, uh, snap to view planes, and so on. Now, the hotkeys for those are going to be X for snap to grid, C for snap to curve, and V for snap to point. So if we're having an issue where our snapping appears to be uh, turned on, this is always the first place that we're going to want to look. So right now I have my snap to grid turned on here. Uh, but even when I turn this off, I'm still getting this sort of effect. Well, there's actually another place that we can look in the actual Move tool itself. So uh, over here in our toolbar, let's go ahead and double click on the Move tool. And the option that we're going to want to look at is this discrete move. So we notice that when I have this turned on, I'm going to get this effect of snapping. Now when I turn this off, I'm able to go ahead and move this very fluidly as we would expect without any snapping. Now the discrete move, it's very similar to the snapping features, but it's different in that we can move the object relevant to uh, rel relative to the size of the object. So uh, for example, I can adjust the step size here. Say if I were to bring this up quite a bit, um, it's not going to appear to be snapping to our grid anymore. It's going to be a much larger snap size. So it's moving in steps instead of actually snapping to the grid. Um, it's just that by default, if we reset this, our step size is going to be one. So it's going to appear to be very similar to the snapping to grid feature. So that's a look at a couple different places that we can go to fix an issue where we're stuck in snapping mode by first checking the snap icons up here to make sure that they're not accidentally turned on, but also checking the settings within the move tool itself for this discrete move. Now, if you want some more tips on how to move around the Maya interface, I'd really recommend checking out the Introduction to Maya course. 